this amazingly beautiful day. Let's all stand as we begin to worship. May be seated and welcome. It's race weekend, but it's also the day we can praise the Lord. Amen. All throughout the week, we can do that individually, but we get to do that as a group. And it's one of the pictures that I was thinking about that I, I like to pray and thank God for is just from the rising of the sun, from the beginning of the day, um, on Sunday around the world. People are gathering in groups and saying, God, you're wonderful, and we praise you, and we worship you. And pictures all across Michigan, the United States, and the world of different groups doing that. And that's just a wonderful picture in my mind as we gather today, because great is the Lord. So our call to worship today is allowing us to think about the difference between what we believe and what we practice. And is there a difference? Should there be a difference? Oh, Jesus, have mercy on me. Sometimes I'm impressed by my own spiritual insights. I probably know more about prayer, meditation, and worship than most Christians do. I've read many books about the Christian life and attend Bible studies. 
Though I'm impressed at times with myself, I'm more impressed by the enormous abyss between my insights and my life. When I think about what you ask me to do and my practice of them, I see a huge canyon between. I need to grow toward you. How can I get there? It feels like the clearer the vision, the more aware I am of the canyon's depth. You alone, Lord, reach out to me and span that gulf. All I can do is keep praying to you even when I feel dark. Keep reading your word when I feel numb. Keep speaking your name when I feel alone. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Have mercy on my soul. Amen. Let's stand together.
Jesus, you're everything. Yes. You are yes. everything to us. Thank you. Please. We have a new song we're going to introduce this morning. And it's called Your Great Name. It's been on our hearts for quite a while. And I'd like to share a scripture before we begin the song. Jesus left us with these words. He had been raised from the dead. And he appeared. And these are the words he left us with. Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on the sick, and they will get well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them and had taken, been taken up into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of God, his Father. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them, and he confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied them. Thank you, Father God. We praise you. Your great name.
Sing the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We bow before Jesus. There's no other name like Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, let's give him a praise offering. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy. Worthy is the lamb that was slain for us.
who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything and I will adore you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything and I will adore you. Father, we come into your presence today with grateful hearts. Just reviewing as we sing with our songs how we adore you. There's reason to adore you. When we think of your largeness and greatness and majesty and power and strength and those things that you display in your world, both through creation and through activity and than in our own lives. Thank you for the strength you bring to us, for the power that's available through your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the majesty of our God and King. And in our worship today, we bow before you in, in your presence, just submitting ourselves and saying, God, we are your creation and we know that you are God and you have infinitely more power than anything we have. And we recognize the great dif distance between God and ourselves. And we place ourselves under that power. We give you thanks for the ways in which you've been at work and how we adore and praise your name even for healings for things that were very disrupted and disturbed and yet you've brought about renewal and wholeness we give you thanks for that we thank you for what you want to do today among us we thank you for the things that will be presented in thought and from your word and the way in which you want to be at work and we just invite you God come to us and fill our hearts sometimes God we don't even know what we need but then you appear and we we smile and are grateful because you knew and know and today we pray for those here at the altar and as they represent their needs, I pray for them in the name of Jesus. And may that name just settle over us. And as we repeat that name in our hearts, just the power that it evokes within us because of how you've described the usefulness of that name and how we're to embrace it and use it for good. So do that among us. Do that for those here. Do that for those of us standing in your presence. Do that in the coming days through things we don't know about where we need to call on the great name. Thank you for giving it to us today. God, meet with us today. May our worship be sweet and pure and open to you. May you show yourself, reveal yourself, take away blinders to us of who you are. 
May we see little glimpses and big pictures and huge awareness of what you are. Just come to us today, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. As we're singing, I see a throne. God with Jesus seated at his right hand. Steps going up. And that we that believe in the name of Jesus can freely enter in. into the Holy of Holies because of the death of Jesus, because of what he did on the cross for each and every one of us. He died for me so that I could have this amazing fellowship with God and to walk straight into his presence where there is no fear there's no condemnation there's no guilt there's no shame it's all of our sins are forgiven past present and future when we trust in the name of Jesus and ask him to be our savior When God, the Father, looks at us, he sees Jesus, his beloved son. And we can boldly approach the throne of grace and ask in our time of need. And he will answer us. Don't let this day pass you by if you don't know Jesus personally. He is alive. He's here today. He's calling out your name. He just yearns to know you. He yearns to know you. Please answer the call today. Let that door open. You can go freely into his presence. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Praise you, Father, in Jesus' name. 